Hey, how's everybody doing tonight? Zombie Jesus here, back with another Let's Play of uh, Inside. I kind of messed up when I started this. Uh, the first couple of videos I posted are actually kind of like from halfway through the game. I didn't realize that it was so easy to just open up this menu and you can just load from anywhere that you've already been through. So I guess I'm going to go back to the beginning here and uh, get this first part and try to tack that into the playlist so that so that everyone can uh, experience what the beginning of the game is like instead of just jumping in from halfway through. I mean, I've already played this, but this is only the second time going through it, so I don't really re exactly remember everything, so it'll be almost like the first time, but without all the boring waiting around when I figure out the really obvious stuff that I should get. This game is like that, you know? A lot of the puzzles were kind of just really obvious, but you just get stuck on it for whatever reason and spend like 10 minutes running around the same area doing the same thing. So hopefully there won't be too much of that this time on the count of I've done this before. So as I remember correctly, this first part is pretty much just scrolling to the left. I think the first guys that can actually get you are like the ones with the flashlights, which actually might be right here. Yeah, we got guys over here, that's exactly. I think I just gotta wait for them to pass, that's all. Nothing really too complicated about this. And I'm- Oh, no! No, I didn't wait too long, or long enough. Oh god. It looked like he choked me out with my eyes. Like he didn't have me around the neck, it's like he was squeezing my head. Yeah, come on boys, come on boys! Let's go boys! Try not to make this too long. I really don't want to have to make this two episodes since I'm gonna have to throw it onto the beginning of the playlist. Just don't want to cause too much confusion. It's simplest if I could just do this one episode, get her done. Yeah, drag that fridge. Do, do, do. Okay, I think these dogs actually come for me. No? No? Is he coming? I made it past that dog. I think the, the next dog then? Oh yeah! Shit! Oh, I remember this. I need this box. Proper form. Be over here. See that like a pro, like a pro. Okay, it's this dog that comes for me. Go boy, go boy. Yeah, get out of the water, oh Jesus Christ! Hey, look at the swim, oh God, come on, man. <laughs> it really looked like he got me. One of the things about this game when you start playing it too is you start to notice this kid's complete disregard for being able to go back. Like it's apparent right from the start that this kid is like, he it's all or nothing. He doesn't care about having to turn around and get back. He's just, he's given, he's given his life for it. He's all in. Boy, oh, what's this? Do I remember this part? Yeah, yeah, this guy's chases you. Go, 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 go. And then you gotta like wait here. And then, and then go down. No, no, he sees me. Oh fuck it. Oh no, 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 no. No. 
Ah, oh, see, smothers you. It's a hand over your mouth. All right, come on, boy. Jump that obstacle. Now, does this guy stay on the truck or does he get off every time? I don't know. I think I'm farther ahead this time, though. These guys can't come down. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. They were shooting at me. That's what I was about to make fun of them for not wanting to slide down the thing but I wouldn't slide down that fucking thing either if I had a gun Jesus uh, surface you will drown and then back under they're right there oh god they're right there I think I gotta go under the whole way across Get up. Get up. Get back down. Oh god, get back down! Alright, we got this. Those science bitches are losers. I shouldn't call them science bitches yet, I don't know what they are. As far as I know, they could be men in black. Oh, well that's lovely. D dead pigs, I was, I was just swimming in there. Ugh. game is so pretty even though it's like ugly and foggy and like bad weather right now it's still like pretty just a lot of running at this boat what's happening here you're not gonna run anymore? Oh, he's, he's holding something. I found something. Did I find. Did I just. Find, I found a secret. I was just running along. I was tapping control. In, I play a lot of Rust, and in Rust, control is crouch. So I was just crouching as I went through those fields. Even though this game doesn't have crouch, just in my mind, I was I was pushing the crouch button and hiding, hiding in the corn. And, and I, see, control in this game is action. So I sense I was holding action. He grabbed on and I ran by. And look at that. That was a that was a secret there. I wasn't narrating, but I was. Oh, what's this? Nothing. See, I want to jump up the ladder as I go up it because I play so much rust. <laughs> jump up that ladder, boy. Skip rungs. What's the matter with you, small child? You can't skip rungs as you're going up a ladder? Fucking weakling. Oh, this is the chickens. I remember this. See the little chickies? Follow me, my chicken minions. Yes, yes, follow. I'm gathering them already. Do they all follow or do they get left behind? Come on, boys. Keep up. These little fucking chickens are slow, man. These little chicks. I'm gonna have to start stomping some chicks if they don't start fucking keeping up. I will stomp you. Try to keep this video short, boys. Little chicks, let's go. Yeah, they can swim. They're fucking chicks. Oh man, this is like more. I I think this is more than the first time I played this. this is a lot of chicks. You can't turn around on the ladder. Can you jump backwards or on the rope? It's weird that he can't just turn around, but he can jump backwards. This kid luckily is an Olympic ath or Olympic Olympic gymnast. See, I remember this. I don't have to run around and pretend like I don't know what to do. If I pull this, I pull it again. Let's get her going. Yeah, there she's going. I let the chickens in. 
And then, I'm not going to spoil it, you'll see what I do with the chickens. It involves this machine and the bodies of the chickens. And that box up there on the shelf. Come on, you fucking chickens. I was really aggressive. I was like really angry at the chickens there, like, you fucking chickens. Come on. So fucking cute, just makes me angry. Stupid fucking ch chickens. Chicks. Now watch, all these suckers gonna get sucked. Suckers gonna get sucked. <laughs> Every single one of them. Boom, 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 they come up the top there, you see that? They knock the box off the shelf. Look, if they're not, they're not even hurt. They're alright. That one died. One died, it's the same one he dies every time, trust me. Just one that dies. I could do it a thousand times, no more will die. The chickens are fine. Everybody calm down, alright? Nothing happened to the chickens. I know everybody's gonna get all angry about the chickens. They're fine. One died, it was natural causes, it had nothing to do with the machine. Okay, good to know. If you ever need to jump from a high place, a bunch of dead pigs is as good as a uh, landing mat. If anyone, just in case you're ever in that situation. I really fucking hope I'm recording this. I played a bunch of Kerbal Space Program last night, I think it was, or the night before. Like an hour of Kerbal Space Program. Just narrating the whole thing, making some nice progress in a new game. And, uh, yeah. Wasn't even recording. So I really hope I'm recording this. <laughs> it's not even like it's that good of a content. I just... Good of a content. The content isn't that quality. I just don't want to have to do this again. Listen to me being self-deprecating already. See, now I never did notice this the first time. See this dead pig? His tail is wagging. See that other one over there behind my guy right now he's got one of those things too but it's crawling all over oh there's another one on his head some kind of oh, there's one right here too it's not the tail it's some kind of worm thing that takes these things out. see it takes them over and they're like zombies I don't even think this one's dead because when you pull the thing off of him, he's just a normal pig. So I think it's like some kind of parasite that like uses your body as a host. Obviously, I mean that's what parasites do, but like it animates you. This this parasite like actually animates you. But, like there are actually parasites that do that in the wild already. Um. Oh, it kills you if it hits you once. Fuck right off. Fuck off! But yeah, like, there are parasites that can, like, reanimate quote unquote, like, dead. I don't know what you would call it. Uh, dead things. They do it to, like, ants. There's parasites that go into ants that, like, fucking make the ants guard the fucking parasites' eggs or some shit. <clears throat> so I think that's the part of the, the plot in this game, is, like, I mean, that's why everything's all fucked up. It's like, maybe that was what caused the apocalypse, was this weird parasitic life form that caused some kind of apocalypse. Apocalypse. And, uh... And then now, now, you know, we're rebuilding. That's why everything's all fucked up. But, uh... These scientists are, like, clearly doing experiments with this this fucking being this biology and that's what happened that's why yeah I don't want to give away the ending but yeah it seems like these are facilities right but everything also seems like look in the background there everything is destroyed and decaying and dilapidated but there's also like you know, people driving around in trucks looking for me. So some some form, some semblance of society still remains. There's still people with jobs and authority figures rounding people up into trucks, apparently. So, like, you know, 
but look around. Like some kind of apocalypse event happened. And there's still people alive, because look at those people over there. So I think maybe, like, maybe there's some kind of parasitic life form. And we humans have weaponized it. And now people are husks. They're zombies used to do manual, menial labor. But there's still regular people alive. You know, the upper the 1%, you know, are still around controlling everything. I think that's what's going on here. Literally, I had to push that that last half an inch for me to fucking grab it. I'm really aggressive tonight with all these F-bombs. Fuck, this kid's good at backwards jumping. Oh, I just want to smash you through that. Can I move the chair? Can't move the chair. What am I doing up here? What am I doing up here? Damn it, I didn't want this to happen. Looks like I can get out through the top, but I can't move the chair. Can I keep going up? No, you can tell by the way that it swings. Damn it. Oh, I think there's a button over here I have to push. Yep. Mm hmm. I swear, you just have to move this all the way and then you can climb up and then that's, that's it. There's nothing up here. Come on. You remember this, Ian? You remember Zombie Jesus, you remember this. You push the window open. Ha ha. Yep, I remember this part. I got this. I'm sorry that I am just sort of flying through this, but I swear you're not missing much. Or anything at all, actually. If this was a first time playthrough, the only difference would be me fumbling around trying to rem trying to figure out how to get through stuff. Oh, just made it. Will I die if I just push? I really hope I don't. Fuck! It looked like he was going to get back up for a second, but... Now well, his shins went through his skull. Ah, see that? First time I just made it. No, drop. Oh, you survived that. It's the, this kid's ability to survive falls is very inconsistent. <laughs> sometimes he survives a long drop. Sometimes a short little drop kills him. If you're just not supposed to go that way in the game littlest thing, well, not the littlest, but smaller than some of the ones he does, in fact, survive. <clears throat> so there's going to be two zombies here. Husks, whatever you call them. I just got to get them both out. Drop off. 
close the door. It's the same. I remember this. Line them both up against the doors. Pop them on. There we go. the ladder. Oh, I hear... You hear that? It's like marching. Or, well, it's not like marching. It is marching. They're all down there. Look at them. Down there, marching away. There's no way to make this. Blah. Oh yeah, I thought there was no way to make it. That's a yellow. That yellow cord there means there's a secret. I don't know if I've gotten this. I gotta check. Yep, nope. I haven't gotten it. Boom. Obscure foundations. Okay. Mmm. He just got the nub of that fucking pole. Ah, that would have been a really frustrating death. Oh, oh no, oh no, come on, come on kid, come on. Yeah, see, you're alright. You're resourceful. He's a resourceful little kid, what can I say? Alright, we're probably getting in... No! <sighs> I really thought he'd be able to grab that pole from, from that jump. Let's see if I can time that jump. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to time that jump that he actually grabs the pole. <laughs> no, Jesus. That second jump was a mistake. I didn't mean to jump. Alright, come on. God, that's so eerie, though. All those zombie people just marching along endlessly, like an endless. Just look at them all. A what? How do you grab the pole then? There's no crouch button, so I figured if I just walked into the pole, it would <laughs> maybe I have to jump across and bounce back to the pole. That doesn't look like something this kid can do. You just push down. Oh, just push down. Okay. Just push down. I you want to go down? You push down. I don't know who. I don't know who designs these controls, but apparently, if you want to go down, you push down. I know, it's ridiculous, it's strange, it's weird. But that's the way it is. Uh, yeah. There we go. Hell yoop. I don't know what this does, I'm gonna pull it off. Click. Oh, right. I need to turn that off first. For first things, for firsties, let's just leave that off. Make sure the way forward is open. Boom. Now, that's an elevator. And I don't know if you know anything about elevators, but they generally take power. So we're going to need power for that. Unfortunately, turning on the power has the uh, side effect of death-dealing light tripods that will kill you. Oh, you don't believe me? That, you don't believe me that they kill you? Watch, watch this. Watch this. Instantly, as soon as you get in the light, shot to the jugular, and your dragon, dragon, your dr drug, you get dragged away. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, fuck, I wasn't even in the light that time. Just on the edge of it. Alright, let's get a crop. Oh. And now I'm going potato. Alright, concentrating. This is the super hard timing mechanism in games that... Oh, man. We got this! I like how you don't jump quite as high in the elevator. The physics in this game are immaculate! Jump the poop, please and thank you. Just gonna jump the poop. Should that be my new catchphrase? Jump the poop. All right, now I'm uh, I'm in I'm in the assembly line, and this automated uh, quality assurance robot here has singled me out. He's like, this does not look like the others. And as soon as you turn around, he kills you. He takes you out of the line. We've uh, identified a anomaly. We have an anomalous zombie here. They just take you right off the production line. They don't want that getting out to the to the customer. Only pristine husks come through this uh, manufacturer. Oh, I moved a little at a turn, and he didn't seem to mind. The big deal is if you turn around. I should have better timing. My timing should be a little better than, than what it is. But uh, I'm not very good at timing things while I talk. If I just stayed silent and watched this, boom, I could nail this timing. But yeah, as a talking person, kind of hard for me to keep a beat. Ah, I nailed that one. And I jumped. I got this. A little early on that one. I'm out. Come on. Come on, I'm out. Get out. <sighs> Alright, this square up here has got the turn around zombies. I gotta do the old turn. Turn. Walk. 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 Turn. Turn. Walk. 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 Walk, walk, walk. Turn, turn. Walk, 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 walk. Yeah. I need to add one more walk to my list of walks. And then I've got this solid. See that? Nailed it. All right. This dog up there, this grizzly dog, is going to run at me as soon as I get in front of him. I need to get the fuck out of here. Go, 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 kid, go, go. Ah, that dog doesn't stand a chill. Oh my god, he's a fast dog. He was faster than the other dogs. Alright. No, no, I got this. Oh, no, I don't got it. Oh, shit! Oh, my... Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, that's a... He really killed me. Okay, I, I do remember this now. Come get me, pooch. Oh, what?! The dog can go down. He just can't go up. Okay. I'm just gonna stay down here. I knew I, I had to use the ledge. I just... I thought the ledge worked both ways. I need this... See the guy up here? Look, I control him now. You see that? You see that? You see that? I control the guy. 
Everybody got that. I kind of skipped over the first time I had one of these helmets. I just did that puzzle fast, and the guys were in the background, so I wasn't sure if you knew what was going on there. But yeah, you see the helmet controls the zombie. You see, I control him now. See, jump, jump. He's my guy. So I'm just going to push this and continue to push it. Uh, no, no, I actually want it here. I want to leave it here. I'm going to leave it here. Come on, run, buddy. Then I'm going to push this thing onto the platform that's over here. See the plate there? Boom, opens the gate. Ah, this video is going to be a long one. Like, not super long, but I'm already tell that I'm crunched for time. I'm trying to hurry this up. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Uh, fuck, this one is like a two-step thing. Uh, I remember this. I remember this. I remember this. Okay, what's this? What's this here? What? I didn't... Uh, I didn't push that. I swear. Actually, I can't, I can't leave that there. Just go. How do I get the guy? How do I get the guy? Does do I have to go up there first? How do I get the guy to come out? How the fuck do I get the guy to come in? Do I have to push this all the way down there? There's another zombie, and he's in one of these. He's in the box here. Oh, you use this to get him to come in. Right. Sorry, I'm not talking there. I just don't want to fucking drop and do this thing all over again. Sometimes my brain doesn't translate to my fingers quite as well as I'd like it to. And talking makes my feeble little brain overload. And I forget what to do! See, like that. I would have made that. But I didn't push the right button the first time, because I was talking. Durr, can't talk and do things at the same time, Durr. Me real smart. I like video games. Alright, now just gonna let go, and then, come on. I don't know if I pushed the wrong button the first time, actually, because I had to tap it three times there for him to actually let go. I think the game just wanted me to die. Yeah, there's a raft down here. I'm gonna drown trying to get the raft out. Come on, kid. No, he's gotta come on. Oh, just made that. Get the raft, let's go. I really don't want to make this two episodes, but we're getting close. Actually, I could probably just jump. Alright, this is one that messed me up when I did this the first time. I was stuck here for a while. So, it is kind of a 
just a bit of a tricky one. When you you want to get through that door, but when the water comes up, the door closes. And if you go over here to the left, it just brings you back down to the first room that I was in there, and you just start the whole thing all over again. You drain the water, you come in here. And it seems like you want to get here, and it tricks you out because you can't. It's just, there's nothing to do. You can't figure it out. Till you realize when the water's full, you can easily swim up to the ledge. So you just fill it up and then drain it. It's the simplest puzzle, but it actually tripped me up for a while. The first time I played this game, yeah, that, that tripped me up. Then this thing floats. You bring it back over. You fill it back full of water. You go on the chain that I mentioned the first time. Everything's tickety-boo. Tickety-boo. All right, come on, man. We're crunched for time here. Drag the fucking floaty thing. Drag the floaty thing. Hit the button. Hit the button once. Swim with the water. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speed run for this or what? Oh, the train just went by. See, there's, like I said, civilization is still functioning. There is still things happening. But it's like this fucking apocalypse. I just gotta wait for this to like hit and then go back. And then I can just follow right behind it pretty much. Um, if I recall correctly, I actually do have to crank this like three fucking times though. Can I make it on the second one? Oh my god, I'm so pro. I am the proest at this. Yeah, boys. That's where I gotta go. Yep. Just in time, as usual. Perfect inside time. This game is perfect timing. It just knows exactly how long it's gonna take you to do things. And, yeah. Maximum suspense. Okay, we're descending into this fucking facility. Oh, okay, so yeah, this is a subway tunnel. It's a big one, but it's like a subway tunnel. From back before society collapsed. Everything is just destroyed and run down. I, can't, I mean, like, I want to say I'd like to know what happened, but I'm pretty sure I figured it out. There's those weird worm things. And I don't think those weird worm things destroyed society. I think people did. By weaponizing that weird worm life form using zombies, you know? Maybe it was like a like a factory apocalypse kind of thing where ev like where there was sort of this thing going on but it was just unsustainable with all the workers and then every everything just collapsed essentially, I guess. I don't know. Come on. For some reason, I think the answer to every dog is to just run as fast as I can, and then that's how you get by the dogs. But I think the answer to this dog is to do this. Look at him go! You coming for me, doggy dog? 
Oh, he's coming for me. The only thing is, dogs don't know how to go underwater. Fuck you. Peace. Peace, dog. Oh, I'm so out of there. Not even close, buddy. Alright. I gotta do this in three separate installations, which is frustrating. It just adds time. Oh god! I thought that worked! I thought that trick worked! Oh no! You actually have to wait for them to get all the way over there. Jesus! Three dogs just chewing me up. Uh. Damn it! Basically goes by when you set foot on the ground. Well, not by when you set foot on the ground. Yeah. Oh god. No! I was on the fence! I was on the fence! Alright, you know what? It looks like I'm gonna have to call this one an episode. This is the real first part of Let's Play. Thanks for watching. Uh, if the video at all. You know what? This is too loud. Let's just get over here. If this at all made you smile or happy, or laugh at any point in the video, please hit that like button. It really helps me out. Feel free to subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one.